So I start with this raw data and I'm trying to reduce it into sub themes. So regulations that encourage certain behaviors and regulations that discourage certain behaviors. And at the end of the day, they all relate to the regulatory pillar of institutional theory as an example, right? So when I have done this, if you are able to create a data structure for your research, then it's going to be very, very helpful in terms of you starting to see the patterns yourself. So whenever I do my analysis like this, then the next question that I'm going to ask myself is, okay, so I can see that there are themes that are coming up and they're confirmed in the literature. So this is great because it in a way actually validates my own work. It helps with the legitimacy of my own work because I'm replicating things that other people have done independently, right? And then there could be some things that are coming up that I knew. So this is the result of my own work. So let's say there's something related to the regulatory pillar that I have identified, but maybe there could be some other pillar that has not been discussed in institutional theory before that I'm able to identify, right? So I'm able to say, hey, okay, so look, we have been talking about institutional theory for quite a while, and I am able to show you that this is Although this relates to the regulatory pillar, there are people who haven't actually talked about this aspect of regulations and I'm showing it to you now. And then there will be something that is new both at the second order level but also at the dimension level. So the biggest contribution in theory is if you're able to identify something in the third dimension because that is going to be something that actually counts as new, new knowledge. Here we are probably in the territory of a lab Rating theory, right? So I nuance this pillar by introducing another dimension that we hadn't thought of before. 